duck speak. You remember when I said how I was going to explain about life, buddy? Well, the thing about life is, it gets weird. People are always talking about truth. Everybody always knows what the truth is, like it was toilet paper or something. And they got a supply in the closet. But what you learn as you get older is there ain't no truth. All there is is bullshit. Pardon my vulgarity here. Layers of it. One layer of bullshit on top of another. And what you do in life, like when you get older, is you pick the layer of bullshit that you prefer, and that's your bullshit, so to speak. Bernie LaPlante, Hero. Let's take a few minutes to prove once and for all that there's no such thing as God. <laughs> Just kidding. It won't take that long. I am is the only thing any sentient being can know. There is no higher someone that somehow knows something you don't because it's not possible for any conscious entity to know more than I am. No one can have any other knowledge because there's no other knowledge to be had. That's not a you limitation or a human limitation. That's a consciousness limitation. No one can know more than I am. So what does that make God? Can there be a supreme being who doesn't know any more than you or me? A supreme being who is entirely belief-based? In other words, delusional? Of course not. Once we've ruled out the possibility of knowledge, we've ruled out the possibility of God. Just that simple. No God, no higher beings, no all-knowers or insiders of any kind. But don't waste a tear on God or Allah or whoever else you thought was up there. The truth is much better than the fairy tales. Beyond I am, it's all belief. There is nothing to know because there is only consciousness and that thou art. Ignorance is not a matter of what we don't know, but what we do know that's not true. In the dream state, false knowledge is everything, and true knowledge is sentio, ergo sum. I am aware, therefore I am, I am consciousness. So, with one diamond bullet, we have killed God, gods, science, philosophy, religion, and any and all other claimants to knowledge. And we didn't use belief to do it. We proved it. Not bad for a couple of paragraphs. I am consciousness is the weapon that destroys the universe. Pashupatastra. So now, having established that no one can possibly know anything more than I am consciousness, that no other knowledge is possible, that everything else is just belief and no belief is true, we can go back to our earlier statement that all of creation boils down to two things one of which doesn't exist. Awareness is truth, and appearance is belief. Instead of awareness and appearance, we can say dreamer and dream, beholder and beheld, or yin and yang. There's plenty to be said about appearance, 
But the only thing you can say with certainty is that it's not true. Just as you can say with certainty that untruth does not exist. Consciousness is true and truth exists. The content of consciousness is not true and untruth does not exist. Although it's not true and doesn't exist, appearance is absolutely necessary. Without appearance, there can be no awareness. But there is awareness, so there must be appearance. Without anything to be aware of, awareness is not aware. Without anything to be aware of it, appearance does not appear. Yin and Yang. This begs a lot of which came first type questions, all of which are nullified by the fact that consciousness does not exist within time. There is no causality, no this, then that. There is only is. It's not very satisfying, but it's undeniable. We are the dreamer, and what we call reality is the dream. That's as far as you get when you start digging, because no matter where you dig in a dream, you just keep digging forever. I don't understand the dream state, but I do understand that it can't be understood. You can wake up in the dream state, and you can wake up from the dream state. And I would never encourage anyone to try to escape. That would be as absurd as suggesting that you commit suicide for your own good.